In the early morning hours of October 31st, the New York Air National Guard LC-130 flew due south heading for its landing site at the South Pole in Antarctica, retracing the route and commemorating the golden anniversary of the first South Pole landing. The United States' commitment to the area began in 1955 with the Navy's Antarctic Development Squadron 6 flying aircraft to Antarctica in support of the U.S. Antarctic Program, or USAP. Forty-three years later, at the Navy's request, the Air Force and Air National Guard took over command of the Department of Defense support to the USAP. 13th Air Force Commander Lieutenant General Chip Utterback says that our commitment to supporting the Antarctic mission demonstrates that air power is more than just air superiority. What an exciting thing that was to have the airplane land there in Antarctica. It was uh, very special, but I will tell you it's uh, more than just commemorative. It's uh, all about air power, and it, uh, it shows that air power can be used not only as a viable force to defend our nation, but also to do a lot of other things, to reach out and touch people throughout the world in scientific research and uh, supporting other missions that are good for America and good for the people of the world. So uh, it was exciting, but it also is a great uh, tool in our kit bag to go out and help people across the world. Since March of 1999, Operation Deep Freeze has been the responsibility of the New York Air National Guard's 109th Airlift Wing, who along with C-17s from Washington State, deliver supplies and personnel to Antarctica. Senior Airman Anthony Kuhn, Dick Air Force Base, Hawaii.